Welcome back to our butcher city of China. Today, we will be learning how to make this beautiful design. It's a bunny detail, and you can use this to beautify any simple outfit and make it pop. It's a very simple DIY tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Tutorial I'm working with this regular boning and my fabric. So, this regular boning is actually so if you can sew on it so i'm just going to use my fabric to wrap it when you're working with a type of bony you cannot sew on like a plastic bony you just need to create channel by just cutting your fabric like this then you put it on fold sew it to the desired size and then you create your channel but we're going to be wrapping this i just like this method so now for this design it comes in sizes size by size so it means it's going to be changing in length as you go so now i'm going to start with the smallest size and then as we go i'm going to be increasing the size by five or six inches depending on what you want so for the shortest one i want it to be around 12 inches long so now i will take my tape now and measure 12 inches so once i have 12 inches there i'm going to cut it and the fabric that i am working with is around one and a half inches in width so I have around one and a half inches width so the length now is going to be the length of your fabric of your boning but I'm going to be leaving one inch on both hand so that I can sew it easily by the time I'm done so now I'm placing it like this you can just use this to measure it or you can just since this is 12 inches you can just measure 14 inches on your fabric and cut it out so you have one one inch extra on both end or you just place your boning like this leave like one inch and then here on the other side you leave around one inch also before you cut out the excess so this is my fabric and this is my boning the next thing is for me to take it to the sewing machine and then i'm going to sew us show us how i'm going to wrap this round so i'm on the machine now what i'm going to do now is to play my fabric down like this leave the one inch that you left up us and then you're going to place your fabric your boning on your fabric just like i am doing i hope you can see this so now this outer edge you can see this part of the boning this this part that is not dotted this outer edge that is facing the outside part now is what i'm going to sew so i'll take it to the same machine now and sew on this so now i'm sewing it i've placed this and then i'm sewing it towards this other the one facing the outer part so you are just going to sew on it gently so that you don't cut your thread and then you can see that i just placed it to the extreme part and then i'm gently sewing it with my machine you are sewing it and then you sew it to the end part okay so now it is sewn and this is what it looks like you can see so now remember the boning is laid on the right side of the fabric this is the wrong side so to wrap it now i'm just going to open the boning up now and then just wrap it around so after opening it up now you can see that it is knit on this side i'm going to fold it over like this okay and then this remaining seam allowance that i have i'll fold it into two first and then i'm going to lay it on top of it like this and then i'm going to sew so it's as simple as that so after sewing it after sewing it the next thing is for you to open it like this and then you wrap it the first time so once it's resting on the fabric like this the remaining allowance that you have you're going to fold this into two and then you lay the rest on it like this and then you sew on the outer edge so that is what i'm going to do now i'm going to fold this into two. so when you are doing this make sure it's really tight okay make sure nothing is packing so that it's going to come out really nice so once you have assured yourself that it is nice and clean you put it under your machine and then you sew so when you are sewing you use a matching color of thread i'm using this white thread because i want us to see what i'm doing very well okay so you can see that i'm making sure that I don't have anything packing there because I want it to come out really well so now I'm going to sew it so when you are sewing make sure you are sewing on the edges that white part because if you show if you sew on the dotted part it will keep cutting your thread so you sew on that part that you can sew on which is the part on the extreme that does not have any dotted line on it 
so you just keep folding it stretch it out so that you know nothing is packing there and then you sew on it so that's how you sew it you sew to the end you bring it again you stretch it out again you fold it over and then you sew so it's that simple Don't swing this now, and that is all we need to do. So you can see what we have. So I don't mind this seam line. In fact, I like it. If you use the matching color of thread, it's really really nice. So if you want this seam line to also be on the other side because it can be like a design, all you just need to do now is to take your sewing machine now and then press and sew on the other side also. But this is actually optional. And also, if you don't want to see any seam line and you want to use this wrapping method, you can use. A hemming glue to wrap it around so that you go and iron it and by the time you iron it the hemming glue is going to fuse everything together for you so i'm just doing the other side also because i want to see that seam line there okay so after sewing it on both sides this is what it looks like okay so now this is what we have the next thing now like i said is for you to cut the remaining sizes so this is totally up to you depending on how many you want to go for so i just cut three other ones have two other ones this is 12 inches in length this is 18 inches i increased this by six inches and this is 24 inches so now remember we left one inch before we attach our boning so now you take it together where your boning stop remember this is where the boning stop this is the other one inch that we left so you take the boning together for the first one like this and then the second one i'll do the same thing and then i'm going to do the same thing for the third one also so the reason we left that one is, is for us to sew it easily remember it's not easy to sew on your boning so again if you want to embellish this you can embellish it how you want you can add pearls to this and if you want to add trimming because this is actually sewable on this outer hedge that we sew on here you can just place your trimming okay if it's beads or anything or you can just sew in your beads if you want it just tiny beads dangling around it just to beautify it depends on what you want to achieve so now i'm going to take all of this together now and use my thread and needle to sew them together with the one inch allowance that we left okay so this is the third one it can be four it can be as many as you want so now once i arrange it and i'm okay with what i have I already have my thread and needle here. I'm just going to use it to sew it on this lower part. Tucking it, you just tuck the excess in like this and then tuck it down. You can also use a trimming to cover it up and then you just place it wherever it is you want to place it. It can just hang on its own like this and then you can form any design you want. It doesn't have to be this shape alone. Once you wrap it, you can use it to form any design you want. So if you want this to be resting on your dress, you can just tuck it to your dress with through this tiny space that we have. You see that we can sew on it. So you can see that your needle and thread can also pass through it so you just pass it now and then you tack it to your main dress so that it can rest on anywhere you want it to rest on i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye